So in this first lesson, we're going to create a Windows 10 installation media using the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. Go to Start, click on Deployment Workbench. And inside of your Deployment Workbench, go to the top node uh, of your Deployment Share and select advanced configuration okay the first step we're going to create a selection profile a selection profile is a tool that's going to help us generate the exact media that we want if you look at the uh, our organization of our deployment shares you see that we have operating systems here in our operating systems, I've already uploaded a Windows 7 media, Windows 8 and Windows 10 media. And then I also have a Windows Server 2019 media here. All of these operating systems have been used to create the same task sequences. So we have a Windows 8 task sequence, Windows 7 task sequence, Windows 10 and Server 2019 sequences. This sequence is used to launch installation of different operating systems over the network. For example, if you want to perform a computer refresh or if you want to do an in-place upgrade, you can just, you know, start the network and pixie boot into any of these operating system. But what happens when you, you are not within a network and you say probably you are in a remote location and you need an ISO image? An ISO image, which is a, a med installation media uh, that looks exactly like a CD-ROM. So we're going to go to Selection Profile and create a profile that we're going to need. So right-click on Selection Profile and select New Selection Profile. From the Profile Wizard page, give your profile in name. In our case, I'm going to name it Windows 10 and I'm going to provide a comment. So like install Windows 10. All right. And I will click next. And in the folders page, I will first of all, you select the first top node. You notice that it's when you select that it selected all of the packages here so but now we have to remove some things during our task sequence we don't want to install application so remove that we want to install operating systems right but we only want to install windows 10 so let's remove windows 7 windows 8 and of course server 2019 let's remove that all right and out of the box drivers, we don't want to install any drivers. We only want to deploy Windows 10. There are no packages. And in our task sequences, we're only going to need Windows 10. So exclude Windows 8, exclude Windows 7, and also server 2019, All right? And now click next. And in the summary page, make sure all of the necessary details have been specified. And then you click next. And now you see the process completed successfully. Click on finish. Now the next step, step number two is to go to media. Okay. And under the media, right click and generate new media. Okay. The media path, you have to specify a path. Uh, this step is very important. You want to make sure you have more um, storage space in this location. So let's go and create a special location on our C drive. Let's generate a new folder and give it a name, Windows 10 Media. Okay, let's leave that alone. And then copy the path all right so you copy close that out and the media path is going to be pasted here you can also browse into that location 
of course it's on the PC it's on the C drive and inside our C drive we have the Windows 10 media select that click OK you can also leave a comment Windows 10 image now under the selection profile drop down click on the drop down and select the profile that we created previously which is Windows 10 evaluation uh, you can choose you can play around with all the options here also there are packages if you select everything it's going to generate a simple media with con which contains all of your deployment share but since I don't need that I will just select Windows 10 evaluation and then I will click next in the summary page make sure your path is correct and make sure you have enough space storage space you can leave a comment if you want you can select select a profile that you want click next once you click next now the media is now gathering all of the tools that we need to create a windows 10 an iso windows 10 media the process has completed successfully and you will now click finish okay once you have done that go to the media that you just created right click on it go to properties and now you can see the general properties the media media identifier is the name media 001 we have a comment that I provided before it's Windows 10 the media path where it's gonna be extracted is C Windows 10 media the profile that we selected is Windows 10 evaluation now the plat platform supported in this option we're not going to select x86 boot image we only need to generate x64 image all right and then here you can give it a name you want i would just say windows 10 light touch media iso so that i can recognize that media if i want to go over to rows tab if you want you can leave you know this tab uh, by default but we're gonna be changing it today I already have a predefined rules that I want to copy I don't want to use the default so delete this my rules are defined in this note in this notepad I'm going to copy that and then I will place my new rule here which is pretty long I will click apply and then I will go back to my predefined bootstrap.ini as well. And then I will click on I will click on edit bootstrap and then I will paste it inside of my bootstrap.ini. Uh, this is my predefined bootstrap.ini. I will save it. I will close it. I will click OK. Once you have done that, go back into the media, right click on it, and you have to update the content. So once you click on the update, update media content, it's not gonna generate our ISO file into the location that we specify, and it's the Windows media. Okay, so it's now copy everything and then generate our ISO. So this can take some time to finish the whole operation I will pause the video here and I'll be right back once all of the ISO image is copied. So once our media has finished updating, you will receive a confirmation page that uh, the ISO has been successfully created. And then now go ahead and click finish. That's how to generate a Windows 10 installation media using the MDT. Now let's go and verify the Windows 10 installation media that we generated. So we go back into Windows Explorer. We go back into that Windows 10 media folder that we created. All right, and let's try and open it up. Double click and there you go. So we now have Windows 10 Light Touch Media. So we can copy this into a USB 
or external hard drive and we can carry this around for projects and install them uh, on site, off site, offline or anywhere. You can take them around and install them anywhere you want to. And it will follow the same step as if you are installing Windows 10 using the MDT task sequence. Okay, I hope this has been informative for you. In our next, next lesson, we're going to be looking at how to create a new virtual machine for our Windows 10. And now we're going to exactly use this, uh, the window ISO image to install a brand new Windows 10. I'll see you then. Bye for now.